We are given f prime of x equals 9x squared plus 10x and f of 1 equals 7, and we're asked to compute the value of f of 4. If we take a look at our notes below, if we integrate the derivative function f prime of x with respect to x, we get the family of functions f of x plus c, whose derivative is f prime of x. So what we'll first do is integrate 9x squared plus 10x with respect to x, which will give us f of x plus c. From there, because we know f of 1 is equal to 7, we can determine the value of c, and then once we find the value of c, we can compute f of 4. So again, the first step is to integrate 9x squared plus 10x with respect to x. To integrate, we'll have to apply the power rule of integration, which is the integral of x to the power of n with respect to x is equal to x to the power of n plus 1, all divided by the quantity n plus 1 plus c. And we'll add the c at the very end. Remember, c is the constant of integration. The integral of 9x squared with respect to x is equal to 9 times x to the third divided by 3. Notice how we added 1 to the exponent on x and then divided by the new exponent. And then we integrate 10x with respect to x, which gives us plus 10 times, well, x is x to the first. Applying the power rule of integration, we have 10 times x squared divided by 2, and then plus c, the constant of integration. Now let's simplify. 9 divided by 3 is 3, giving us 3x cubed, plus 10 divided by 2 is 5, giving us 5x squared plus c. So now we know f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 5x squared plus c, and now we can determine the value of c because we know f of 1 is equal to 7. So if f of 1 is equal to 7, this tells us the function value f of x is equal to 7 when x is equal to 1, which means on the right we have 3 times the cube of 1 plus 5 times the square of 1 plus c, and now we solve for c. We have 7 equals, the cube of 1 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus the square of 1 is 1, 5 times 1 is 5. Simplifying, we have 7 equals 8 plus c. To solve for c, we subtract 8 on both sides. Simplifying, we have c equals negative 1. So now we know the specific function that we want is f of x equals 3x cubed plus 5x squared. And since c is negative 1, instead of writing plus negative 1, let's just write minus 1. And now we can determine f of 4. f of 4 is equal to 3 times the cube of 4 plus 5 times the square of 4 minus 1, which gives us 3 times the cube of 4 is 64 plus 5 times the square of 4 is 16 minus 1, which gives us f of 4 is equal to 192 plus 80 minus 1, which equals 271. f of 4 equals 271. I hope you found this helpful.